Hello friends. So we are coming to the end of our discussion on of mimicry and man by Homi K. Bhava, one of the prominent post-colonial theorists. So we have seen already some 80, say 16 points we have seen. Now we have got a 17 point about the menace or the effect of mimicry. We have it irony, 17, irony. Irony, that means there is a kind of what we should say uh, a desire, to, uh, and, uh, an unnecessary desire, I would say, not necessary at all, unnecessary desire to emerge as authentic. That's the thing, to emerge as authentic, to look like authentic. So, what do you do? You imitate the foreigner. You imitate the colonizer in their dress, in their manners, in their uh, in their um, uh, way of talking, in his accent, try to imitate their accent. But what happens is that uh, everything, anybody, anybody and everybody knows that you or he or she is not an authentic person. You are only imitated. Understand? Yeah. So that is an irony, in fact, no? Yes. So 18, as an 18th point we can say, prevarication, prevarication, prevarication. That is not revealing the whole thing, prevarication, not telling, not telling the whole truth, whole truth. Already we have seen Charles Grant, what does Charles Grant say? We want our civilizing mission, it is not for making them authentic English people. To be English, to be Anglicized is not to be English at all. No, you won't get the status of the status of the Englishman. But that will not be told. That will be kept as a secret, a hidden agenda. That's it. Like you remember I told you now, the first colonizer is Satan. Yes. And what did he do? You, you, we have already seen that. And then we have got 19. The 19th point is, you have split identities. Split identities. That means you are known as lying Asiatic. Lying Asiatic. Two in one. That is the thing. Afro-American. Afro-American. Now these days you have had an African, American Malayali. American Malayali or American Indian. American Malayali or American Indian. Understand? Or you have what is Simian Black. Simian Black. So these are, we say, split identities now. An Englishman is not, uh, is not given the label Anglo Saxon Englishman. No, he is not given like that. Or a German is not given the label. American German. No. But when you are an Indian or an African or an a, a somebody from Asia, you will say split identities. You will use two in one level. Levels that indicate two in one. Understand? It's we speak, we think about two in one, three in one and so on. So the colonized people, they are two in ones or they are three in ones. Understand? Another effect is a very devastating one, that is the value of the Bible. The value of the Bible has been reduced to a, a big lie. That is the thing. Value of the Bible. Because those who speech, those who, sorry, those who those who preach uh, the Bible, they also preach this mimicry. Understand? Those who preach the Bible, that are the missionaries who have come here, who came to convert us, or who came to introduce the biblical virtues, or teach biblical virtues. Now what have they done? They are the same persons doing double talk. That's the thing. So double talk. So what happened to the Bible? Bible became a curiosity in the shops to be bartered, 
a curious, a curious thing, something, something that attracts your curiosity. Or it's a bundle of waste paper. That is, because of these people who are preaching dishonesty. They are, they are actually rolling out dishonesty when they are speaking about empire and the imperial intentions. The imperial intentions are hidden. Even these people who come here to preach Christianity. Therefore, what happened is, net result is, Bible became a curiosity. The shops to be bartered for something. This is not my opinion, this is the opinion. This is what is written in the essay. You can read it for yourself. Please don't attack me for this. When I say, Asal has said like this. No. Read the essay, then you will see that. And the, the paper, waste paper basket used in snuff shops for wrapping silly things like that. Now these two things, not my personal opinion, this is the this is what is written in the essay. Understand? So this is Bible, the value of the Bible became just a curiosity, a curiosity. Or waste paper. Waste paper used in snuff shops. Shops. So why? Because the same people who preach Bible, they also have a, their method is double dealing. That's the thing. Double dealing. That is the reason how the book, the Holy Bible, lost its value in this context. Understand? There's no honesty. They, they say one thing and do something else. See that? At times what happens, you know, this, uh, what we say, this, uh, in uncertain, unguarded moments, in certain meetings, in certain conferences, the thing will come out. What is in the mind of the foreigner will come out. For example, Edward Long, in History of Jamaica, he says, these people, speaking about the uh, Africans, they say, the vilest of humankind, only the exterior resembles man, human. So that, that's what this. Sometimes it happens like that, you know. In, so there will be in every, everybody's life, there are unguarded moments. So in such unguarded moments, Edward Lang, long, long, not long, but Edward Long, in the history of Jamaica, he says, the vilest of humankind, that's what this is. History of Jamaica, Jamaica, Edward Long. Edward Long says, the wildest, the wildest, those who want to begin write down, wildest of, said, the wildest of humankind, the wildest of humankind, only the exterior, only the exterior resembles, only the exterior resembles, exterior resembles human. That's what they said. Exterior resembles human. Imagine. So what is in their mind? This, the same person preaches Bible. That's, that's why the Bible lost its value. Because you are just a double dealing person, a hypocrite. If you are saying one thing and then another thing, you know, yeah, I, in one platform you say, oh, we are all brothers and sisters, we are created equal before God, we are equal. As. And then in, uh, at other time they will say, they are the wildest of, uh, wildest of humankind, only the exterior resembles human. Imagine, and how can you believe what these people say? What the colonizers say? You cannot. What the world the colonizers say about equality and fraternity and human rights and so on. See that? Well, another uh, description of the situation. Naipal gives in the mimic man. That is, as quietly he gives the situation of the colonizer and the colonized. The relationship he has. We as Naipal. 
neighbor in his the mimic man the mimic man what does he say you know that is the thing he says uh, there is a character ralph kripal singh ralph kripal singh he says that we that means the colonized we pretend to be real we pretend to be learning ourselves for life we pretend to be it is only pretension look at the word we pretend to be learning we pretend to be learning that's right we pretend to be real and we pretend to be real we pretend to be real to be learning sorry to be learning we pretend to be real to be learning then ourselves for life learning ourselves for life this only pretension this this is the word that is the word that is the word that is a motor word here we can say <coughs> pretend <coughs> we mimic man of the new world says we mimic we mimic men of the new world so that is the real situation we mimic the men of the real world one unknown comer of it we don't know him but one unknown unknown man no one unknown comer of it we mimic we mimic men of the new world one unknown comer of it with all its remainders of the corruption that comes with all the remainders of with all the remainders of corruption all the remainders of corruption that all the remainders of corruption that comes so quickly to the new that comes so quickly to the new so this is so this is the real colonial situation the real colonial situation listen the asset test for a colonized you can say we pretend we pretend to be real we are not real lost our identity we are shattered our identity has been shattered we have been given split identities we pretend to be real. to be learning ourselves for life that is not learning ourselves for life that is learning ourselves for to be the tools of the colonizer we mimic men of the new world one unknown comer of it we have no idea who is who he is but still we are, we are fated to mimic him. but we so what happens is all the accompaniments the accompaniments corruption the corruption corruption comes along with this and he have taken this down no? so this is a very i must say that this is a very powerful statement about the relationship between colonizer and the colonized mimic mimicry in its concrete form mimicry in all its aspects is like this and he says uh, that is I, i told you, you know sometimes what happens is this unguarded moments they will speak out the truth eric stop you heard of eric stop no? eric stop what does he say he says that the uh, eric stop says that india is one of the disturbing influences that's what he said the english and uh, this is he has written this in the english utilitarians the english utilitarians 
in the english utilitarians he writes india is one of the one of the india is one of the india ah, sorry not not one of the india acted as a disturbing force as what he says india acted as india acted as a disturbing force you must also read gauri vishnadans the masks of congress the masks of congress along with this that will be a fantastic reading where uh, to get uh, more he said the other dimensions of english education the other dimensions of colonization colonization and mimicry listen this another very interesting thing about mimicry is that there is a reverse mimicry <laughs> what is that reverse mimicry this is is a reverse grammar there is also a reverse mimicry and what is the reverse mimicry that is some foreigners they become indian they try to imitate indians for example or the colonized you can say you have kind of kim kim as the novel kim written by kipling so there is a character a boy and skim the son of an irish soldier he grew up he grew up in the streets of lahore and he behaves like hindi an indian it's called a passing down it's called a passing down same thing with kuts k u r t s in in joseph conrad's heart of darkness kuts so there also he is going native that's a reverse he gets a reverse mimicry now what is the way out for this how to get out of this psychological this uh situation so to say see that this agonizing situation okay? the split identity the answer comes from foucault he says you have to think the thinking the unthought thinking the unthought that is the phrase that he uses thinking the unthought and what is that that is you have to reconcile your your essence with your person reconcile it. so that is reconcile your essence that means your your personality or your individuality you have to end your alienation and then what you have to do reconcile him with the essence reconciling your essence with you with you ending your alienation end your alienation and you are alienation and reconcile your essence with you or another way is negative black is beautiful black is beautiful you have to say like that and lord post colonialism with the most positive connotation and denotation both what is it post colonialism is is liberating post colonialism is liberating the idea is liberating you should uh, you should stress this point first with fugo you should say you should end your alienation then what will you do you will reconcile yourself with your essence another is say black is beautiful essence asiatic is beautiful. what is asiatic is beautiful so like that. and third you should say we don't want this split identity why do you want to say that hindu angle is right up we can you say english the person who is writing in india in english is an english writer like that we say woman novelist why should we say woman novelist feminist will shoot you if you say like that <laughs> woman novelist what i am exaggerating a little but why should you say you get your say novelist what does it mean see that is very simple thing that's what we have to do so as fuko said we must end our alienation we must end the alienation and reconcile 
oneself with his essence. With this, we will come out of this, this miry situation. A situation which is murky and miry, that is colonization and the sufferings that the colonized underwent and the split personality and this double talk and this hypocrisy. Understand that? As a result of this, what happens, you know, one of the most, one of the books which people consider valuable, lost its value. So it all depends on honesty. As we say, good old days we have, honesty is the best policy. You know, in Hamlet, Polonius advises his son Legis just before going to France, he says, after giving a series of precepts, he says, but above all, be thine own self, be true. You understand that? <laughs> so that's, that's the point. So let's end mimicry and let us remain true to ourselves. Then everything will be all right. Okay? I hope you have, you have been listening all my five lectures of Mimicry and Man by Homi Baba. Some people say that Homi Kebaba is a difficult writer and, uh, and somewhere I read that Harvard University awarded him, <laughs> awarded him, uh, Miss gave him a present for difficult writing. But anyhow, whatever it is, this is so, uh, the, the concept of mimicry is so, uh, uh, it's very practical sort of thing. To analyze postcolonial discourses, the concept of mimicry or the idea of mimicry or the theory of mimicry has, is, is used and it is very powerful. It's a powerful weapon in that way. Understand? Other things about difficulty writing and things like that, I don't know much about that. I have just uh, read somewhere and you know that is casual reading. So don't worry about that. It's a wonderful uh, approach to postcolonialism, postcolonial post -colonial theory. And also, this one of the, this, the one of the exposes the mind of the foreigner. It exposes the mind of the foreigner who told us or who made us believe that imperial power is for your civilization, our civilization, and our, it's a civilizing machine. Yes. So, I hope that you have understood. You have enjoyed my like this. If you have enjoyed, you should share it with your other friends, your fellow students, so that they also benefit out of this. Alright? So we will move on to the next theory, that is uh, spontaneity by Franz Fanon in the next few lectures. Till then, bye bye. Have a nice day. Enjoy your life. Bye.